Hi there! This is a 100% playthrough of Capybara on Ultra Violence Difficulty. This is map number 12, Hackers Checkers. Hey there! Time for some more Capybara. This is map number 12, Hackers Checkers by that absolute wizard of doom, Rippy the Warlock. Well, more of a warlock than a wizard, mm, but you know what I mean. Maybe Rivi is, you know, dual classing. I don't know. I don't know exactly how Rivi likes to play his, her, their Dungeons and Dragons, but I'd like to think some sort of cross class proficiency is going on here. Uh, cool. So, yeah, that, that worked out pretty damn well, actually. Yeah, so you want those dudes to infight, obviously, and then just take out the cows with the super shotgun. Right. Now let's punch some nasty little flame boys in their flat asses with this tasty weapon. It can go wrong, but it just depends on how your hits land. Okay. Oh, you shit. Right. No, you don't. Thanks very much. Um, you guys get the... You guys get the SSG, I think. <laughs> Isn't this such a wacky tune? This map is awesome, by the way. In case you can't tell, I'm having a jolly good time. As are all of Rivi's maps that I've played. Oh, has it been two already? Or just the one map that Rivi's made? Mm, 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 for this set. I can't recall. I can't recall. Um, okay. Boner time, I guess. Mm. It's boner time, boys and girls. So I've got some more cells left over there. <laughs> Blip. Um, yeah, no point grabbing the, that supercharge right now. Um, yeah. Let's make ourselves a little bit of space. Yeah, it's always best to attack the side that doesn't have the switch on it. I just picked up a supercharge for no reason. Shitty biscuit. Shh. Just because you've got more of a room to swing around. The switch can block you. Well, speaking of blocking, ow! Um, ow! I'm not giving myself enough room here. Oh well. There's still another super. And you've got this, uh purple and green monolith here to help you pop some of those missiles that are chasing. Go away! Shit. Or that. That works too. <laughs> okay. Okay, next bit. Um, this bit here. Um, no, it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, just in case of punching a hole and then trying to get around the outside while everyone crowds in the middle and fights each other. Hmm. I sometimes just choose a different side. I don't think there's, I've got, I've got a favorite side to really go for. I just grab some cells as we need and don't get yeah, go away, Cyber Demon. Thank goodness I already picked up the backpack. Ow. Yeah, watch out for those revenants. They're not very nice, eh? Archviles will come in. Shit. So it's best to move as quickly as possible. Yikes. And use these wall corners for, um, for line of sight blockers. Ow. Oh. That Hell Knight was on point with that shit. Oh, okay. Good time to grab a new Zubajarge. Yep, the Flame Boys are here. I hope they're just going to get whacked by other people's projectiles and get busy. We just got to watch out for those random rockets too. Sometimes you can't exactly watch out for them. Really? And you're just going to run into them? Or they'll run into you. Right, where are ya? Shit. Oh, he must have got distracted. Shit. <laughs> he must have got distracted again. Ah, they're over there. Bugger it. No, that was bad. That one's a wet fart. Mm, not so good. 
Love that explosive cyber demon sound. Not too bad, lads. Lads and lasses. At least there are quite a few um, teleports in the void if you fall down. And keep in mind, this is on medium difficulty. If you want to watch how it's really done by an absolute professional, not a mild-mannered wuss such as myself, go check out Brain Freeze. That's where it's at. Brain Freeze is the Doom Chad. I reckon with the, um, with Brain Freeze's insane taste for difficulty, seriously given Decino a run for his money in the old big, difficult, cheeky, uh, Doom Tubins. Really look forward to see what, um, what stuff Brain Freeze is gonna do next. And I didn't mean to fire a second poof. Oh well. But yeah, in terms of the big, big, big Doom Boy Leagues, those guys, amazing stuff. I don't need, I, I, I don't need to tell you peeps that. You know, I am very sure you know exactly who is on the top of the Doom Tuba pile, kicking some serious booty. Whoa. And hugely entertaining everyone whilst they do it. I really like this, it's like more of a magenta -y, pinky sort of red. It's so cool, although it does kind of make my eyes go blur um, sometimes uh, playing this map. It's because it's such a, uh, wow, such a contrast. This beautiful burning magenta color and the black and, oh man, it's such a visual feast, you know? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Platforming. <laughs> My one weakness. I guess I'll... Mm, the next fight we go to, we're going to teleport right on top of a Megasphere, which is a little bit of a bugger, because I would prefer to be able to choose whether to pick it up or not. Oi! But, um, meh. Don't matter. We're going to go in that teleporter. I think I've hit everything, but I'll grab this anyway. Sweet. All right, let's go kick some more ass. What do you reckon? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Now, yeah, there's the Megasphere right there. This might look cheeky. It's pretty damn cool. There's going to be, like, so many imp fireballs flying through the sky. It's going to be insane. But um, on, on, on Nefarious, the actual UV difficulty, all those imps in these beautiful, beautiful cubic sort of prisons are revenants. So, um, as I said, if you want to see how it's done properly, go check out Brain Freeze's video. It's insane. Insane. Um, so what I like to do first is actually punch through the imps, which is probably what you're supposed to do, because that's the weak point, and just keep blasting, and hope, just hope, wow, oi, that's rude, <laughs> yeah, I kind of fucked that one up, you saw nothing, yeah, look at all the fireballs, Whee! so cool. And we've got another Megasphere here. Let's not pick it up yet. And let's just get to blasting. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Sweet. Whoa, oh my god. Those fireballs. That's insane. Let's not die to imp fireballs yet. Let's, um, let's actually do something about that. Take out a few of them. And I would just like to just get rid of those guys. I have to hit a bunch of things. Which will crush the imps. Could have done this before while the guys were distracted, but ho hum. She all she, she she's all good. Ow! That was rude. Let's go to some more rockets. Did I hit this one? No. No. Ouch. It's all right. There's teleporters there. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the shooter. Sweet. Nicely done. 
pat myself upon the back. But yeah, it's a little bit of a cakewalk this map, but um, uh, you don't see me complaining because it's fun. It is friggin fun. Go play it. Go on. Try it on the hardest difficulty. If you dare. A double, triple, quadruple dare you. And there's a power up I haven't picked up. Can't remember where that might be. Hmm. Come on. Maybe it's in here. It's probably on one of these things. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Let's grab it. That's 100 everything, yeah? Sweet. Oh, I nearly fell off. <laughs> As I said, Rivy the Warlock, consummate professional, beautiful, really fun maps. I uh, can't wait to see what else Rivy's got for this map set. I'm pretty sure, can't remember off the top of my head because I'm a moron, but I'm pretty sure Rivy's got some other stuff for us, for Capybara. And I look forward to that, though it's probably going to be so much harder because it would obviously be later in the map set. It's not too many maps left. Hmm. I think I might. I mean, I'm undecided whether to save the secret maps until I've finished the final normal map or to stick them in after map 15 because they are going to require a lot more grindage so i don't know undecided what are your thoughts on the on the on the the matter should i which way should i go do you care do you not care let me know um i hope you enjoyed i really enjoyed playing this one so much fun as i said and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one cheers take care eduardo and friends